in a cafe a few months ago, we analyzed the flow theory, focusing on its benefits for the learning experience. But today we want to think of ourselves, okay? What we do every day and the activities that fill our lives, okay? So a flow experience is the optimal human experience where one feels so fully immersed in an activity or in an experience that you lose track of time. You don't know if you've been in that activity for 10 minutes or for three days in a row. And the good thing is that you do not care, okay? So the flow theory um, was developed by Michaeli Chizemithai. He's, a, he's an Hungarian psychologist. He was born in 1934, but he's Hungarian, but he, he, he mostly he developed his, um, his, all his theories and, and his work in the United States, um, specifically in the University of Chicago. His studies focused on happiness and creativity, and this led him to the theory of flow. Okay, which happens with a perfect balance between two basic elements, okay? Challenge and skills. The balance between the level of challenge, how you're being challenged, and how skillful you, you are, okay? So if we see this um, um, very simple chart, um, we can see that, for example, we know that challenging is good, okay? Everybody needs the challenge to, you know, boost yourself, et cetera, et cetera. But if the challenge is too high and your skills are very low in that activity, related to that activity, the skills that you know to develop that activity, then you will feel anxiety, okay? And if you're anxious, you, you, can't, you can't produce anything. However, if your challenge is low and your skills are very high, you're very skillful in that area, then it relaxes you you get bored, you don't really engage in an activity and you don't end up being productive either, okay? So the perfect um, balance is when your challenge, the way you're being challenged meets your skills, okay? And that's when you are in the flow, okay? And you're enjoying and you're, you are immersed, you're, you're fully attentive to this activity, 